All right, let's talk about Wikipedia. Controversial maybe, but I enjoy using Wikipedia as an educational tool. Um, while the sort of stigma around it is that it has a bunch of false information in it because anyone can edit it as true, um, I like teaching my students to have those critical thinking skills to not immediately assume anything they read is true. Having that little voice at the back of their head that says, this is on Wikipedia, am I sure this makes sense? Can I find some other information that contradicts this? Does this jive with my personal experience? Is good. Having that sort of internal critic uh, for incoming information is fantastic because let's face it, I don't think I've had a science textbook that hasn't had some incorrect information in it. Um, it's, it's just a fact of life. And so I want my students to gain that ability to evaluate the information that they're getting. Um, so having students learn how to edit Wikipedia might be something that um, would be a good uh, educational experience. Just knowing sort of the ins and outs of how it's edited can give you some more insight into it. And I'm going to also share with you later in the video um, a subset of Wikipedia called Simple, Simple English Wikipedia that'll be useful if you're working with students who are either younger or have a more limited reading level. So if you know editing is not for you, you can go ahead to skip onto that part. There's chapters in the video, so you can just move to the one that says Simple English. Okay. So I'm currently logged in, but just to show you how easy it is to get an account, I'm going to make my incognito browser tab. I'm going to create an account. You just pick a username, you put in your password, and you prove you're not a robot, and that's it. Um, I don't think you even need to have an email associated with it, so literally anyone can edit Wikipedia. Remember, if you're working with students who are under 13, you need parent permission if they're going to create their own accounts. So make sure that you're, you're following your district policies and federal law. So that said, um, the easiest way to get started on Wikipedia is to begin by editing existing articles. Um, I, I think that learning how to create your own is fantastic too, and I think we're going to do that a little bit in the Simple English one. But um, just to get a feel for how it is structured, playing around with editing it is good first. And there are a lot of resources and support that you can um, play around with. If you're someone who's really not comfortable uh, just editing something that's live and throwing it to go, this sandbox feature is here, which is your own personal play space where you can copy and paste in some text, play around with it, and um, see how you feel. So let's go for it. I was looking for uh, just some pages to give some structure on, and I just looked up snails. And the diet section for snails is real bad. So I'm going to edit it, and we're going to talk through that. Um, to switch from reading to editing, oh, just kidding. The snail's locked. Snails is a locked page. Interesting. Can I edit it at all? Bummer, man. My plans may be derailed. You can view and copy the source of this page. Okay. I guess snails might be a high target for vandalism. So I'm going to submit an edit request and we'll see. Oh, we can put that in later. Okay, okay, I got us, I got us. This is a little bit weirder than normal, but we'll we'll go through it with it. We'll go with it. Okay, so I'm going to pull up um, so the page so I can have it sort of side by side so we can see both of them. So this is what the text looks like behind the scenes on Wikipedia down here. Um, this is uh, Markdown, I believe, is the, the language it's in. It looks worse than it is. So um, this stuff is all headers up here. We're going to ignore that for now. Um, a snail is, in loose terms, a shelled gastropod. So looking at this sentence here and this sentence here, you'll notice... I'm going to zoom in. Yeah, I'm going to zoom in. So noticing that the bolded term has three sort of um, apostrophes on either side of it. Uh, noticing that the link here 
to gastropod has double brackets around it. This is how formatting works on this page. It's not what you see is what you get, which is what we're used to. It is something where you have to do a little bit of coding if you want it to look right. The most important thing to notice is the links because you're probably going to put a link in at some point. Um, another important thing is knowing how to do citations. Uh, it's important to include citations in work, uh, just on, on Wikipedia as in life. So the first one we see down here are that snails have considerable human relevance has a link. Snails have considerable human relevance and are incorporated into jewelry. And so what we see as just uh, brackets around one, and that'll link us to the bottom of the page where it says the link to where we get this from, and we can go to that page and see um, some snails in jewelry, I guess. This isn't really an article so much as it is an image that proves their point. That's fine. Uh, so that here looks like this here. Uh, let me get all of it. Okay, so you have angle brackets, ref, which means it's a reference, curly brackets, site web, that character I can't remember the name of that's just an up and down line, URL equals, and then you put the URL in. Then you put another um, vertical line, title equals snails used in jewelry. So that title doesn't show up here. That title is what shows up down here, okay? And then angle bracket slash ref. That means it's ending the reference. And so you can go through and see these other ones here. Um, if I was able to edit the page, I would probably look at that as well. So maybe changing that out for something better. Uh, snails, the part I wanted to look at is diet because this section's very not great. So I'm gonna go down here and this is a title and titles you can find because they have equal signs, double equal signs on either side of them. So that is how you set it out as a thing. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and put it into my sandbox since I can't really edit it. And I'm gonna work on it in here. So looking at this one citation, you'll notice that nine is the, geez, get out of the way guy. Nine is the only citation here, and this goes to the Texas Bug Book. If I go down here and click on it, oh, I wish I hadn't done that. I'm going to right click on it, just kidding, and open in a new tab. Okay, the Texas Bug Book here, um, it has this short paragraph on feeding habits, which is basically plagiarized in this paragraph, and like plagiarized, um, oh, I want it to be bigger, not smaller. Let's see. Uh, and like incorrectly plagiarized as well, which is not great. So <laughs> uh, we're gonna we're gonna spice it up and make it better. If you don't want me to do this, if you don't want to watch me go through this process, skip on to the next thing. Like I said, this is maybe not for you. Uh, so it starts out with snails feed at night, which is not true. It says they feed at night, although on damp, drizzly days they will stay out all day. And this is talking really broadly about a lot of different kinds of snails. Snails absolutely eat during the day. Like I've seen that happen with my own eyes. This is a good uh, paragraph to point to, to show your students. Like you have to bring some common sense to the situation when you're reading Wikipedia. Um, and because of the history page, you can always like look to the date of this video and go back to the page on that date and be able to see exactly what um, it looked like at that time. Hopefully they'll approve my edits, we'll see. And I don't feel like the time of day that they feed is the most important thing here. They feed primarily on their decaying organic matter is good, but slugs and snails feed primarily on decaying organic matter. I don't feel like that's plagiarism because it's just such a basic statement to say. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in top and take out the snails feed at night. Snails feed primarily on decaying organic matter, and then it has the reference, site book, title, Texas bug book, page. Yep, that all looks good. It's got a URL, looks good. Okay, um, and then I'm gonna get rid of this second citation. 
That's weird. So ref name, that must allow you to, because like back over here, we've got A, B, C, D. Oh, why is it not letting me go back up there? Oh, because it has multiple ones. That's A, B, C, D. So because it has multiple ones here, I guess that's the shorter way to refer to them once they've been cited once. Because uh, that's the domain there. Okay. I'm going to edit it and keep it as it is. So let's let's go. Snails feed primarily on decaying organic matter. And then I'm going to actually jam these two sentences together because their diet consists also includes these things is a direct line from this book here. Um, yeah, they like to eat instead of their diet also includes and then it's just the same list. Um, maybe a gray area, but I'm just going to spice it up a little bit, but they also eat uh, let's smoosh things together as much as possible. Plant matter, fungi, and um, insects. I'm going to count animal feces and carrion as decaying organic matter, other slugs and snails. I don't even see where it says they feed on other snails in here. I'm sure it's true, but I, I don't see it in there or see the reason why you would put it in there. Um, and insects, important to have that. I'd like to add a little bit more. I haven't really planned this part out though, so we'll see what happens. So where's a good place to go on the internet to learn about slugs? Uh, we've got probably some encyclopedia out here, right? Let's see if we can get Encyclopedia Britannica. Is that even a website? Probably. Let's see what they have to say about snails. You know, that might be against Wikipedia citation things, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, so let's just look for what do snails eat. I think with Wikipedia, it doesn't want to cite other secondary sources. It wants you to cite, like, original research. Um, a microscopic look at snail jaws. This is good. I like this quote. Let's see. And this is the National History Museum. That's a good site. It's written by someone who has a PhD. I'm liking this. So let's add some information on there. I have never wondered what the inside of a snail's mouth looks like, but I guess I am today. So I like this sentence. Snails and slugs have evolved to eat just about anything. Specialist and generalist species. Yeah, this is good. So we're going to paraphrase, paraphrase that. I'm leaving in the original citation for this primarily what they eat. Um, I'm getting rid of this sentence that I already stole something from, and I'm going to add in. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking good. Um, so snails eating habits very widely. with some being generalists, some being specialist. If I was like going above and beyond, I would find some existing Wikipedia pages of generalist and specialist uh, slugs. Some being generalists, some being specialist feeders. Okay. Um, and now I need to put in this citation. So this gave it a reference name. That's how they got it to do that thing. I don't know that that's what I want to do, but I'm basically going to copy this format. I don't know if that's going to work though, because it's a book and this is not a book. Let's go to a different page and check out a different thing. So. Again, feel free to skip ahead if this is not interesting to you. This is me editing Wikipedia pages. So I want to edit. See, normally, if you're not on the snails page, this edit button is right here and you can just edit it directly. I'm not here to edit and I'm not going to submit anything. Um, but if you are directly editing a page, 
you briefly describe your changes. So I'll write in what that is for the, the snail thing. And then you say whether this is a minor edit or not. So if like you just see a typo and it irritates you and you want to fix it, you just um, fix the typo in here. Say I fixed a typo, you know, someone had switched an S and a K and ask or something. Uh, and then click that this is a minor edit and publish changes. But we're not going to publish changes on here. I'm just looking for a reference. Which is apparently not happening today. Goodness. Let me go back and see where there's actually references on this page. Okay. Uh, just after the word why, that probably doesn't happen too often. Let's see. Oops. Okay. So they're using, man, this is getting to be harder than I thought it was. That is weird. Close and ask. This is crazy. Okay, I'm going to a different page. We're backing out. We're going to go someplace else. Let's try this battle. Um, okay, so Brandenburg is what we'll be looking for. Again, I can edit this one because it's not snails. Okay. Oh, that's in there a lot. <laughs> it's not going to narrow it down for me to find the references. Okay, Prelude. What the heck? Apparently, I don't know how to cite things. Where was I where I saw how to cite things easily? Oh, well, I apologize for you watching me flail around like this again. It is your choice. You could just skip ahead. So I'm going to keep going with it. Uh, lists. Let's look at lists. So, okay, ref name, site, oof, so weird. Okay, we're going to try. We're going to try to make this work, and it's going to be fine. So, uh, snails eating habits vary widely, with some being generals and some being specialist feeders. So ref name, site journal. This is not a journal. This is a, it's a blog. Wikipedia citation types. Okay. Look at me. Look at me actually doing my due diligence and what I should have done before. Inline citations for any material. Challenge are likely to be challenged for all quotations anywhere in article space. So web pages. I'm going to call it a web page. See also the template site web. This is what I want. Okay. That was way easier than just flailing around. Good. Will I cut it out? Probably not. Uh, site web. I might have talked too soon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it. This is what I want. So this most commonly used parameters in vertical format just makes it a little bit easier to read and I can take the vertical formatting out later. So, goodness. Yeah, I've added a bunch of junk in here I don't really want. Oh yeah, we're gonna get rid of all of that. All right. So, site web, URL, got that. Title, a microscopic look at snail jaws. Last, I'm going to assume is last name. Vendetti. Yeah. And then Jan with two N's. Uh, date. I don't know if they have a fancy date format. That would be something I should look into, how, how the dates need to be formatted. Um, might not have a date though. That's really weird. I would expect an article like this to have a date. Hmm. I'm going to leave date blank, unfortunate. 
That's a bummer. I don't see any hint in the URL either. Hmm. Okay. Uh, publisher and website. I'm going to do nmh.org for the website. And the publisher is the Nat Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County. Access date. Twenty twenty two. Oh, gonna do dashes. No, I don't like that either. How should I cite my dates? Let's check back here. Dates. Oh, that's for older things. No. Okay. There's so many different dating conventions. I don't want to mess it up and show you the wrong one. Date. Okay. Can be full date, month, year. Use month, day, year dates. Automatic date forming. All dates and such parameters as date. Date equals, is that what I have on here? Excess date, close enough. Month, month, day, day. All right, I'm gonna do that. So dash a one dash, wait, was it dashes or slashes? Again, you are choosing to continue to watch this, that's on you. All right, uh, no quote. So we're gonna call it that, that. And now, I'm going to tighten this up so that they're not vertically spaced out. Oh, and we didn't have a date, so I'm just going to leave that blank, which isn't great. I don't love that. Okay. No one like really hates looking at snails. That guy's been back there for a while, huh? Okay. Um, so now I'm just going to Tighten that up so that's there. Um, this is my sandbox, right? Let's click publish page, see what happens. Oh. I don't want to watch that page. There we go. Oh, no, didn't work. So the bug book one came through, but this one didn't. This is why it's good to play in a sandbox. Um, let's go back to edit page and fix our mistakes. So ref name equals, that's what I didn't do. I didn't put in ref. Okay, ref, oh, angle bracket name equals, I see there are quote, double quotes, uh, ref name equals, we're going to call this Natural History Museum LAC. Is that right? Yeah. End quote, and angle bracket, and then at the end of it, I think I need this close ref tag. Okay, let's publish again and see what happens. Oh yeah, it worked. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the edit page. I'm going to call it a day because that's enough. Um, and then I'm going to go back to my snails page and tell them they need to get their act together and let me edit it. So um, it's locked. Oh, no, wait, that's not what I wanted. View source. Submit an edit request. Not a test edit, straightforward changes, uh, if they're justified with reference. Okay. Write your request above this line and do not move the tildes or curly brackets. Okay. Above, all right, so state unambiguously your request suggested changes below this line. 
add or move. Okay, replace existing um, diet section with text below. Poor quality, borderline plagiarism. Yeah, no, I guessed and I, I lost that one. There we go. <laughs> plagiarism. Um, and misinformation. Added additional citation and rephrased existing text. All right. I think that's as good as it's going to get. I'm going to click watch this page. I'm watching to see if my stills have the right thing. You can check too if you want to. Publish changes. Let's do it. Okay. So, nope. Let's do it for real this time. Should I do show preview? I should do show preview just to look at it. Show preview will show me what it looks like. And this is what it looks like, which is what I want. Oh, how's that talk showing up there? You know what? I'm not going to worry about it because we're in the talk page. Okay. I'm going to publish changes. Let's see. I'm going to capture again. Got to watch those S's. For some reason, my keyboard's doubling S's, but you don't need to know that. All right. I've requested an edit be made to the semi protected snails. So that was quite a lot more about editing Wikipedia. I hope that what you take away from that is just that it is okay to flail around a bit. There are scores of people and bots that are scouring Wikipedia constantly looking for bad changes, mistakes, things that are happening. There's tons of resources to help you out if you're interested in editing Wikipedia. And I hope that you are because there is certainly a bias towards um, towards certain areas and the more people that we get influencing Wikipedia and writing things and editing things, the broader we're going to have a reflection of of the thing. So that's my, my Wikipedia thing. The other thing I wanted to show you before um, I let you get back to whatever else you're doing is to show you how to find simple English Wikipedia and what a great resource that is. So I'm going to start at the main Wikipedia page again. And if you scroll down on the side, you'll see all the different languages. So each, each Wikipedia has its own set of articles and things like that. And if you scroll down here, there's simple English. So Simple English Wikipedia is done with a controlled set of vocabulary. So there's a limited number of words, but they still explain difficult concepts. So right now evolution is their featured one. They still, they still do use technical terms, but um, it's explained in a much simpler way and a much more direct way. So evolution is a biological process. It is how living things change over time and how species develop. Let's just side by side that with the existing, oh goodness, it is a struggle today. Nope. What happened to my other weird tab? I guess we're doing this one. We're gonna look at evolution on the regular page. Nope, we're not going to. Okay, so on regular Wikipedia, why not make everything big? So biological process, how living things change over time and new species develop, theory of evolution explains how evolution works and how living and extinct things have come to be the way they are. I am confident that while there is stuff to unpack there, that's at least something that my middle school students could get a handle on, that they could, could start to understand. We could spend some time talking about what a biological process means. Um, we could spend some time talking about uh, what theory means in this context, because that is 
such a great conversation to have. But this is something where they can actually begin to access it on their own before we have those conversations. Compared to over here, evolution is a change in the heritable characteristics and we're done, right? The, this is where the vocab starts to come in and it becomes much more inaccessible for our students. So if you're wanting to use Wikipedia, um, I, I would recommend having Simple English Wikipedia as an option for your students as well, um, because it's written in a way that's much friendlier. I will say I might not have my students edit Simple English Wikipedia, because there is a controlled list of what words you are allowed to use, and so that can be a little bit more challenging from an editing perspective. Um, but if you go to the main page here, um, we use simple English words and grammar here. So if you go to simple English, these are the rules that you're going to be expected to do. Actually, I think we want basic English as the one. Okay, so they give you the rules of, of how you're allowed to use words. Um, here's the word list of their basic words. And it's a way to um, make it easier to access technical information like we would in a science class. So I hope that you and your students have some fun playing around on Wikipedia and have those good conversations about how to evaluate the information that you're reading and how to verify things that you have questions on.